In the Z-Wave network, ZIP Gateway is an application that allows network clients to connect and control nodes. The IP gateway requires an Ethernet connection and it can access raw Ethernet frames. On the Linux platform, the original Ethernet connection is realized by using the Linux TAP TUN driver. The network structure diagram is as follows. The main function of the IP gateway is receiving data packets encapsulating the IP command on port 4123-0-4123. The IP is a UDP IP packet encapsulating Z-Wave command. Extracting the command of Z-Wave, then encapsulate the extracted Z-Wave command in a serial frame and send it to corresponding chip through the serial API to complete the communication with the desired node. And the main functions of ZPortal. The role of ZPortal is to provide users with an operable user interface, which can be operated on the computer browser or on the mobile phone by connecting to the ZPortal URL with the ZWare app. After receiving the user operation command, ZPortal sends it to ZIP Gateway and finally ZIP Gateway recognizes the operation command to perform the corresponding operation on the Z-Wave device. Now I'll show you how to use ZPortal. ZPortal is a service based on HTTP on our gateway. So let's go to the gateway IP address plus port number 443 to log into the dashboard. The main purpose of ZPortal is it communicates with the IP gateway so we can control the wave devices. So the account ID is user, password is smart home. Three functions here. Number one, settings. Um, here, settings means to connect with the ZIP of our gateway. Now it's connected. The portal will automatically detect every ZIP on our gateway. Now we need to choose one and the port is 44123. The key is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 for three times plus two A's in caps. Now you can see the portal is connected with the IP. So the portal can now control the wave devices um, connected by the IP gateway. Network manager here helps you add or remove nodes. Here, the number six is the smart lock I added. We can use the portal to control the lock's status, you know, whether it's open or closed. We can also control the door lock remotely and set its password. We can see here the password for user one is 8888. So we can actually use this password to unlock the smart lock on its keypad. And it supports 30 users maximum so we can add different passwords here to access the door lock. So first of all, our smart gateway will offer a Z portal so we can control the smart lock using an app called ZWare 7 on our phone or using our browser to control it. Now I'm gonna show you the whole process of control the smart lock through our smart gateway. So we open this app to name the ZWare 7. Go to more accounts and the server URL is our IP, login name, user, login password, smart home. Click save and you can see we're now logged in. On to the next step, we go to settings. It will discover the IP automatically. Port is 44123. And the pre-shared key here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 for three times with double A letters in caps.
Now the ZIP is connected. Now let's remove the door lock first. Type the default code on the keyboard. Now we can see it's removed successfully. Now we need to add it again. So we need to type 4567890 on the keyboard. Now it's added successfully. And we can change the door lock name here. And you can see we're unable to unlock the door lock right now. And we change its name to smart lock. Now we can unlock and lock the door using this slide button here. You know, we can change the password here. We set it to 8888 so we can control the door using uh, its physical key panel. And this smart lock supports a maximum users of 30. Now we add a new user, set the password to 9999 so we can control the door on the key panel also. That's it for the whole process of control our doll lock using our smart gateway DSGW210. Hope you enjoyed the video.